Firstly, I want to say thank you very much for having forged such a great film career while being Greek. I yeah. think that definitely helped me getting yeah. into the arts a little bit, convincing yeah. my parents. Yeah, yeah. And I guess because of that, the question I've always wanted to ask you, being Greek is so core to who I am and the lens in which I see the world. Yeah. How do you feel or are you conscious of expressing your Greekness through your films? Well, it's um, there is an element of that. First of all, my my parents came to Australia at the early part of the 20th century when they were infants, really. Yeah. My mother when she was two, my father when they were nine. And we lived out in rural Australia. And our culture was Greek sort of un, unwittingly. In yeah. other words, my father and mother, every Sunday, they, they would have this big, big spread and people would come from all over the country, not not Greek people, yeah. but people from come, there's a place called Chinchilla in Queensland. Chinchilla. They come from all over and there would be food. It would start about midday and go into the evening. There were up to 25 people, multi-generational from babies to grandmothers. And, and, and that was just a natural part of growing up with my brothers. It wasn't until Decades later, I went back to the island where my father came from. From Kithara? From Kithara. And I, he, and I realised that he was re reproducing the life that he experienced as a child on the Greek island where there was that big spread. The family, often extended family, would turn up and it'd go right into the night. Most of the food, the cheeses, the wine, everything, the bread was made uh, in, in, in the village. And, and so my father was trying to reproduce the yeah. life that he, from which he was taken as a child. He, with the economic conditions just after World War I, mm. uh, there was a big diaspora to, to yeah. countries like Australia. And so, so that, that was one thing that picked up and yeah. without going on too long. The other thing <laughs> I noticed is when we did go back was how stories were integrated so much into the culture. Mm. People were telling stories about the island and people as uh, like great, great, great grandfathers as if they knew them intimately, but they mm. died a century or two before. Wow. So that, but that's, I realize now in all cultures, mm. one way or another, it's all cultures.